new Supreme Court program to help people avoid evictions started today. It's meant to slow or stop people from losing their jobs. I Team H Jasmine Miner is live for us for what we can expect this kind of program impact to be. Jasmine. Yeah, guys, well, you got to remember the program really is there to make sure that people are available of the resources before going through the eviction process. And while some say uh, this is a step in the right direction, it's a good thing. They're still concerned over the fact that it's voluntary for landlords, which could mean evictions happen anyways. Even an eviction filing that never goes to court um, can carry a, what we call a scarlet E. That scarlet E is what he says follows people for years to come, more often than not keeping them from finding affordable housing after losing it. If both parties are part of that settlement conference program, the eviction filing court case itself is kept confidential. Andrew Bradley, policy director at Prosperity Indiana, says the confidentiality is one of the best parts about the pre-eviction diversion program. It keeps tenants from having to make that scarlet E known. But the key is if both parties agree, the program is voluntary for landlords and tenants. Indiana has been, the spike had already been happening. We've seen nearly 69,000 evictions filed during the pandemic, and that's even when we had moratoriums in place. And if a landlord doesn't sign up, it may not help the state's housing crisis, which he says was exasperated by the pandemic. When the emergency rental assistance runs out or people stop being able to apply for it, um, then that's where you're going to start seeing some cases rise again. According to the Eviction Lab, which keeps track of evictions in Indianapolis, the city saw a drastic increase from September to October, with 298 eviction filings just last week alone. Andrew says even with the program, you can't just look at the number of evictions. That has a big effect on um, children's ability to do well in school, has a big ability on whether the adults in the family are able to apply for and show up at jobs. But everything else tied to it. Then it has a big impact on the community's economy and therefore the state's economy. Well, I was able to talk to an eviction attorney over the phone today, and she tells me for the first day of this program, um, judges had a little bit of a hard time fully understanding how the program works. But overall, she says this is a positive thing, especially when it comes to that confidentiality aspect to help people avoid uh, getting that scarlet E. I'm Jasmine Miner for WISH TV, WISH TV.com, and follow us on Facebook.